Hey, what is going on, you guys? No Master Does here for another gameplay video. So today I thought I'd change things up a bit, and I'm going to show you guys a mobile game that I've really been into, and I thought you guys might want to check it out too, because it's free and it's really fun, even though it looks kind of cheap. It's called Crusader's Quest, and it is, well, I would say it's kind of like an RPG. Well, it is an RPG, but um, it's very different so pretty much you can have over a huge the characters you know at first you might think oh they don't look that special you have a cat here called musket that has a gun you have a neth army female executive you have a private thug so there's a huge variety of characters to choose from and some of them might be the same you know here's your like variety of classes you have warrior paladin Archer, Hunter, Wizard, and Priest. Um, right now, my my main uh, ones that I'm using right now are Yi Bu Dong, <laughs> which is my my mage, which is you know like black mage, I guess you could say. My uh, uh, my warrior, which is famous Leon or Leon, whichever level twenty seven. So as soon as I get him to thirty, I can actually. Um, I guess you could say rank him up, I guess, to his next, uh, um, I would say, like, next class, but no, it's the same class, just, his, his next transformation, I guess you could say. So, let me just show you guys, uh, what I mean here. So, I could go here to start adventure. Well, first, let me show you, let me show you something. This is, whoops, this is the main town. Um, you could also have, like, I got my friends list right here. You can play against other players. You can chat right up here with other players. Um, this is also where you can do other missions. This is kind of a Christmas snowy kind of thing, because I guess they just never really updated it. And whenever you see a symbol like this above someone's head, that means you could take on a quest. Um, and it will say right here, acquired, like, 1,500 gold for that. You click on shortcut, and it takes you right to what you have to do. But I'm not going to do that right now. First, I just want to show you guys. Hey, actually, that's new. What is this? Huh. Oh, okay. I guess it shows the top players right here. See? Okay. So, right here, if you go right here, these are, like, other players. Like, real players that level up their team. So, these are uh, different teams. Of, um, these are each player's uh, teams. You have up to three characters on your team that you can mainly want to level up. So this person, I don't know their name in Chinese, but this is their three main uh, heroes right here. And this one, Lo Kong Tao, this is his three main heroes right here. And look how ridiculous these things become. I mean, look, you got a bloody sword right here. Looks like a, a fox, whatever. A pirate with a paddle and a weird juju looking thing. I have no idea. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys the gameplay, how it is. So I'll, I'll go to quest right here. Normal, enter. I'm only on the second chapter, pretty much, so I guess I'll, uh, hmm. I'll go right here on the last mission that I did before. I click ready. And, okay, so here are my heroes that I have so far. I did have a few more, but I got rid of them because I knew I wasn't ever going to use them. So the ones that are highlighted in blue right now are the main ones I'm using. So, oops, I actually got that one out. So you can only have up to three heroes, which I kind of wish I could have had four because I really like using Muskrat, uh, Muscat right here, uh, the one with the gun right here. But I also like having a mage in uh, my group. So I have a mage, a healer, and a warrior for now. Um, until later on, maybe I'll get a stronger Muscat because I do like using guns. So I hit start right here. Raise volume for you guys. Actually, you know what? I'll just leave it like that. I don't put it too loud. Okay, so the characters move on their own, and you have these icons at the bottom that constantly pop up. This is your uh, attack. They attack automatically right there, but this is like their powers down here. So I can click the blue ice right there, and it'll start shooting down uh, ice from the sky. Or one of the sword icons right here, and it drops down a sword attack from that's from the warrior. And then the green is uh, for healing with my healer in the back. And you can see right here all the way on the left how the two swords connect to each other like that. That means that's like double the attack power. So if I could move this blue one out the way, it does the attack. But look right here. Three swords connect to each other. That means 
that's the highest you can do right there. So if you click on that, it's a huge, that's like your strongest attack for your warrior. So I click it, and boom, a huge sword drops down. Now when you when you connect two or three icons together, you'll get these spinning ones right here that usually, that means um, that that hero's special, like super special. So Or like a buff, I guess. Some of them, sometimes it's a buff, sometimes it's a, hold on, I'm dying here. Sometimes it's a special. So if I click on it for the warrior, it raises everyone's attack. So... I, you also have to like plan how you do this. So right now I have uh, two ice uh, icons, magic icons that connect together. So if I want to get three icons, I have to move this out the way and out the way. And look, now I got three. So hold on, right now I got to heal. I could buff up myself right now, make me stronger, and use ice. And now I got like a strong ice attack. See right there, since I did that combining ice attack, now I could use the major special, which is an electric ball. Right there. Now it's really slow. Uh, it's it's usually better when uh when they're closer. See that right now I'm heading towards boss and I'm dying. Now you see that green icon right there. That's the healer special. So I press it and it drops down a huge thing that constantly heals my team constantly. And I could heal again just to make sure. So I'll do a special right there. Buff up my team. All right, and I'll do a, my special magic attack. Constant ice shooting. Alright, now I'll do another special with my sword. I like I usually like to wait for more icons to come here so I can see how I'm gonna plan this out. Okay, perfect. So I can use my Ah, dang. It also depends on where your um where your characters are, so like right now, yeah. Now I can use my special right there. And I'm now I'm constantly being healed. I could drop my sword right on top of it, buff up my team. Heal up and attack. See, a game so simple and graphically very simple can be so fun and addictive too. Like, I've been really into this game. It's free for both Android and iOS. Right now I'm playing on my iPhone. Which, I I mean, the program that I'm using right now to record this, it's okay. It's not the best um, because it's kind of complicated and annoying at times. But it works. I mean, that's how I'm recording this video. And I got him right there at the last minute. But you guys really got to check this game out. And it's it, it's free. You know I mean? You can't go wrong when something is free. And there's actually a full story mode in it and everything, which is really, really cool. Oh, see, look, look at that. Right there, just because of that, uh, my uh, mage leveled up twice. But I really trying to get my um, warrior class right there until we max out to level 30 so I could rank him up um, let's go to next stage I'll do a, another battle here for you guys just to show you it can get harder like right here see at the boss info on the right you see two other um, right here shows three bosses uh, for the end so you got two heroes there and then one like monster now when you usually see two characters right there like that that look like heroes it's gonna be even tougher because for some reason when you're going against other heroes like that they're ridiculously strong like super strong even though it's not even the final battle they still can be strong and I've suffered before um, so let's see how I do this time I mean I am a lot a lot stronger than I was before but let's just see how I do this time alright here we go so, for the beginning part, it's kind of simple, you know, I don't really have to worry too much. You do take damage though, obviously, so you don't want to clear them out fast. Now, I'm not a big fan of this ice power, because you have to, your mage has to be close to the enemy for its attack to even be effective on them. Which is why I'm not a big fan of it, I was kind of a fan beforehand, before I ranked her up. She used to shoot down meteors, and they used to like curve more uh, to the side so that they'll still hit the enemy. But these icicles, they basically shoot straight down, so your mage has to be really close to them. Especially the sword, since since my warrior's all the way in front, his special with that sword that drops down is okay because you know he's all the way in front, so it'll still be effective. Let me heal up there. But, like, watch. When I shoot my ice, see, I have to be really close to them just to do it. 
So, let me get that out of the way. But now I got three specials ready to go. Sometimes I'll even like to save them for the end of the, uh, when I get to the boss. But if I can't, uh, see, if I get doubles right there, then, then I'm good to go. Overflowing determination. When you get two specials at the same, and you use them at the same time, you, oh crap, hold on, I'm dying right here. Use my special right there. Okay, see, here we go. I could have saved that for the last minute. Crap. Oh, well. Alright, so, here we go. This might be tough. Yeah, look at that. My mage in the back is already taking damage. Crap. Let's get that out the way. That. Let's use that, that. <laughs> this is what I like, though. It's like, you really gotta, like, think fast on what you're gonna do. Oh, man. I'm already dying. No, and there's only one character left to kill. Let's see if I can do it without getting my mage killed. Oh man, look at my mage's life too. That's because uh, my mage right now is the the weakest level right now. She's on like level nine, and my other classes are like level twenty five and twenty seven. Let's see if she levels up now. What is this? Player has oh my player character has leveled up. Okay. Ah, look at that. My warrior class is already 28. Two more levels and I can rank him up. So let's head back to town. So the way you level up is you can do missions like I just showed you. Or you can um, click right... Let me see. Oops. Right, um... Where is it? Forget already. I'll be done. Okay. So you click here on hero. You find the hero you want to level up. So let's say I'll click on my mage. You can hit train right here. I mean, they level up through um, killing, you know, like in uh, through the quests and stuff like that. But there's also, you can make them go from like stage one, stage two by feeding them like foods and stuff. So right here I click on bread and you can see right there on the left, it went up by 50. Here went up by, now went up by 90 there. And then here went up by 130, and you can keep on going pretty much until uh, until the limit. The limit is one, two, three, four, five, six. So the limit is six that you can feed them, but it also will call you, cost you gold right down here. See over 4,380. So you go buy gold really fast if you decide to do that, which is why I usually will wait until I get um, food that is worth of greater value for me instead of just like this is only 50 and then a hot dog is only like 40 so I'll just click on that and show you so they go through training there and now I'm still on stage one stats go up uh, from 10 to 20 percent so it's not so bad but I rather wait until I get better foods so let me get out here oh another thing is if I click here um, on let me see weapon this is where you can also you get different kinds of weapons for different classes so right here i have a wooden sword and a bastard sword for my warrior so i click on bastard sword and right here i can you can see it says attack critical damage plus 20 percent i click upgrade and look it only costs me 650 gold to upgrade to get that critical damage so i hit okay and the blacksmith creates it, and voila, hero attack power plus 70, upgrade successful, nice. So that's really useful right there. And also, you may, um, you'll run out of like gold and stuff like that, but usually daily, um, you click on mail, and right here you get a, you look right here, says 3,000 gold I just got right there from my mail. So you get daily mails, mail, um, goodies and stuff like that. So what is this? Golden weapon box, whoa. Holy crap. Oh my god. Super oh, Jesus. I don't know what level I got to be for that thing, but I seriously cannot wait to use it. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's see what else I got. 6,000 gold. And right here, look at that. I got some more uh, 100 meat right there. What is this? 20 dungeon keys, because I did just um, unlock dungeons. Um, milk. Or meat. And a strawberry donut, man. See, now, after I finish this video, I'm probably going to go get a donut now. 
So let's see here what I got, what I got. So for my mage, can I use it though? Holy crap, I can use it! Yeah, boy. Oh man, that's awesome. Uh, I just don't know if I didn't try. Oh, I didn't finish reading if there was like a, a daily limit to this. Like if I could have it for like three days or even one hour. Crap. I didn't think about this. So, oh man, I could upgrade it. Dare I? Yeah, I think I'm gonna upgrade one thing at least from it. It costs like 3,200. But I don't really care. Oh my god. Alright, I seriously feel like testing that thing out. So, I think that's what I'm going to do right now. So, if you come over here, you got Quest, Coliseum, and Dungeon. Coliseum, you can play against other players. Um, you know, like from around the world or your friends list. Trevor, I have not done that yet. And Dungeon, um, I have not tried this yet. But, um, I guess these are like daily things you can do. Um, I did get Dungeon Keys. I have 30 of them, I'm guessing. I, uh, yeah, I do have 30. I think that's what it says there. Or 10. I'm not really sure about that. I think I have 10. But anyway, I could enter this dungeon right here that says one day left. So I might do that later on today. So I'm going to do quests and I'm going to do my next mission right. Actually, no, no I'll do the mission before that because it's pretty short. Yeah, I don't want to make this video too, too long. <laughs> so I don't know. I might be doing this more often. I might be showing off some more mobile games because, you know, like, there's lots of, like, console games, PC games, stuff like that. But I want to show, like, more of different things that a lot, maybe a lot of people don't know about games like this. This game is super, super addictive. It's really, really fun. RPG on the go. Uh, it does require internet connection, so make sure you either play it with Wi-Fi, or if you have a great data player, which I do not. So, like, at times when I do want to play this, I'm like, oh, I don't want to sacrifice my data. And then I'm like, yeah. See, this uh, mission is really short. That's pretty much all I want to show. So, let's see here. Oh, crap. I kind of Alright, so let's buff up my team. Let's bring in that healing there. Let's do it one more time. I'm trying to get another match. Ability. There we go, right there. That's what I wanted. And I totally missed that. Jeez. My mage is read. Ridiculous right now, man. I'm only level 10, too. Holy crap, that was awesome. I seriously hope I get to keep that weapon because that thing looks ridiculous. Level up to 12. Look at that. Nice. So, let me go back to town. Alright, you guys. So, that was Crusader's Quest. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, definitely check this game out. It's free. It's awesome. It's addictive. You can play with your friends, battle against them, create the ultimate thing. Uh, team of heroes and I, it may not look like I have a lot right here let me show you actually real quick before I really do end this video a friend of mine um, let me see here uh, if I can find him real quick here we go let me show let me show you guys a friend of mine's uh, army right here of team look at his team right here see he has like you have a ridiculous amount he has over 45 heroes and here's some of his strongest. Level 60 right here. Black Mamba. Look at that. Notorious Phantom Thief. It's ridiculous. Like, the, the stuff that he has right now. For his heroes. So, this is what you can get if you put just enough time and effort into this game. You know, I mean, it's not... It's, it's, it's relaxing. It's not hard um, to play. It's really fun. So yeah, definitely check this game out. It's free Crusader's Quest for Android and uh, iOS. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoy. And I might do more videos like this. Let me know if you guys uh, like uh, watching mobile games. Um, and I'll see you guys another time, another video. Take care.